All right, let's get into these hot topics. Okay, uh, after months of internal debate, the Biden administration has offered to exchange Victor Bout, a convicted Russian arms trafficker serving a 25 year prison sentence as part of a potential deal to secure the release of two Americans held by Russia, Brittany Griner and Paul Whelan. Now sources told CNN that the plan to trade Bout for Griner and Whelan received the backing of President Joe Biden after being under discussion since earlier this year. What are your thoughts on the update to the story? And I didn't ask y'all what y'all drinking tonight because I know, yeah, yeah, are y'all drinking? I'm, I'm drinking. Cl- so. Okay. No, oh, you want to? Okay, you okay? You getting ready to be somebody's <laughs> wife again? Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, please. Elle, are you drinking? I'm sorry. Yes, I, I'm drinking. Okay. I'm doing rum and uh, orange juice. Okay. Well, now you want this rum and orange juice. What do you think about this story? About you know, this could potentially be a deal. Yo, you know what? I've been saying this from the beginning, ever since this first the story first broke. I'm, I'm very excited about this. I'm glad that we're moving to bring her home. I do understand the United States position that we don't want the rest of the world to think that we're into prisoner trading, but we're going to do this prisoner trade to get this young lady home. And I'm super excited about this. Now, the only thing, Claudia and Q, that I did not like about this negotiation was that Brittany still has to complete her trial and 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 get a judgment, get a charge or not a charge in Russia before they will complete the negotiations and do the trade. Something about that, what's Funky saying? Something the milk ain't clean with that. So I would love to know if any of our soulmates or anybody know anything about international extradition, because is that mean if she gets charged, she's not allowed to come back ever? Is she not allowed to travel to a certain states ever i just want to know the the in the ins and outs of this but i'm definitely glad that we're getting her home okay q what do you think you know rarely am i double-minded but on this one I, i'm double-minded so to al's point i'm 100 excited that the administration is doing everything in its power to get this black woman home including doing something that we don't do often which is prisoner trading The other part of my mind wishes that there would have been another way that we could have gone about getting her because I am fearful of the fact that because the U.S. did make this exception, that it will incentivize our enemies to capture and keep high profile Americans in exchange for the release of their prisoners in our states. It's it's definitely concerning, and I hope that this ends up being a one off and that we don't see these countries trying to capture Americans to use them as bargaining chips. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that they, they would love that. Um, so I do like that this has been in, in, in discussions for a, a couple of months now and Biden signing off on it. I think you gotta, you have to do this. And yeah, to you, both of y'all's point that, that that is something that they probably always have thought of doing. I don't think this is a new thing. You know, this may be something that's relevant to us but I'm sure there's been high profile Americans or that valuable Americans in our government that, you know, have been caught up in, in this kind of stuff. Um, there are 15 Americans over there that need to be brought home. And I wonder how their families feel that, mm. you know, um, they're still waiting. And, and, and this is such an important prisoner that we would be releasing Victor uh, that I think he'd be worth a few more Americans as well. So I hope all 15 of the Americans that are stuck over there can, can get back and or we can get a little bit more for this because that's a huge get to get, get especially during a war right now with the Ukraine. We don't want him out there, but he's a horrible, horrible person. But um, there, there's, there's, like I said, 15 others, uh, 15 total that we need to get back. That I well, know you, know what, you know what sucks? Um, I don't know. Did these, uh, Brittany, did these 15 other, were they there before she got locked up or after she got locked up to your Before knowledge? she was locked before. up. And also they, they've done some, totally different crimes and remember we're not we're not 100 convinced that she did anything wrong yeah gotcha. we just know that she got caught out there doing a, a wartime in which you know russia you know is poking fun at america and using her as an example for it so those other 15 folks that are over there they are over there rightfully so i'm assuming because the question i was going to or my comment was going to be if i was their family members i would be pissed off that you prioritize these two people over my family member and they've been over there longer. There is another, I'm sure there's, I don't know all the crimes, but I know there's another one that was over there for, it's a, another drug thing, weed. And they sentenced him to 14 years of, of hard labor, 14 years, a 14 year prison. 
term. Wow. So, you know, they, they wilding out there. So if Russia got your nerve, there's something that y'all, okay. I don't know if y'all seen the videos over there from Russia, but the things that they do to members of the LBGTQ community, they, they are very, very, very known to be very, very violent and um, judgmental. Mm. Well, we wish that uh, this, this has a happy ending and, and hopefully a, a quick one.